Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my tutorial. I'm starting the new series, we starting to learn the Python. If you don't know anything about the Python, no worries, you can still watch this tutorial because this is tutorial especially for you. If you know something about the programming and about the Python, it might be not so interesting for you, but for people who don't know anything, this is what I'm doing for you guys. We starting from the scratch. You don't need to know anything about the programming. You don't need to know anything about the Python. If you know something about the Dynamo, this will be like as a plus. If you don't know anything about Dynamo, it's still for you. If you thinking like uh, starting programming for the Revit, if you uh, want to programming not only for Revit, but you wanna just get some uh, real example when you're coding something and you're getting the result, I think it will be interesting for you. Okay, this is first series. Uh, this is first my tutorial of the Python. Mm, don't forget about the likes and comments. Maybe you have some suggestions for me. Leave them in below the video. Of course, I will improve as I as I can. I will improve my tutorials. Let's get started. This is first lesson our Python code in Revit. So we will open just any project. So you can open your any project or you can create empty project. Doesn't matter because now we will work only with data in Dynamo. So. I want to just show you what you can get, what you can achieve using the Python in Dynamo. Sometimes it's really helpful. Okay, I'm kidding. It's not sometimes helpful. It's totally helpful because not all the nodes we have in Dynamo or you need a lot of the things to create some logic. Okay, here we are. I will create the new Dynamo. I didn't install any packages, so it means you can uh, use the vanilla Dynamo without any packages and you can get start work with that. Okay, uh, let's start with some simple thing. For example, if uh, I will show you how you can create in Revit, uh, I mean in Dynamo and after that we will slowly move to the Python. For example, we have two numbers, double click, left double click. For example, we have number one, I don't know, it will be 25 and we have another number, it's calling I don't know, 52, let's say. Yeah, <laughs> it's mirrored. We have two numbers and we want just get the sum of this number. So what we can get, of course, you understand, we can just plus it by this node. Okay, one node and we just connecting it. And as you can see, we get result. Another way how we can get the result, as you know, we can create the special code block. It's already like a programming, but it's still not, not, not Python, not programming yet. But anyway, it's already something near with that. As you can see, we have X, Y, we have just here the formula and let's connect it. And as you can see, we get the same result. So we going close and close to, the res to get result. Also, you just can write only one code block, let's say X, equal um, 52 and equal 25 z equal x plus y so what we will get as you understand we get here the answer here we are already as you can see moving from the uh, simple one this is average code in dynamo to the something a bit, uh, I not will say professional, but let's say for this for this level, it's really professional. To something like a code. So this is already looks like what we get in Python. That's why I'm showing you slowly. So this is stage one. After that, you realize the stage two is more better for you. And after that, you're doing everything in stage three. Because as you can see, here we're using the three nodes. Here we're using also the three nodes, but we can uh increase uh, numbers of the strings here and that means we can more calculate in only this one block here we cannot do anything done because we get only the our result so we cannot now do anything inside this code block here we can and here we're doing everything only in one code block this is really important and now we are a bit switching to the uh, python so how we can do that Right click, just write the Python and you had get here the Python script. 
Here is the Python script. Uh, it's totally not understand what's going on here, but I will try to explain you uh, as much better as I can. So, what we do next? The next thing, I will copy these code blocks. Let's say we have like two numbers, which we wanna just get zoom from that. Uh, but as you can see, we have only one input. As you understand, we just can click here and we get now two inputs. So what is the, that number? It's number calling the index. So we have two indexes, one and second one. So one and two. Don't, don't think about here the zero and one. Uh, everything in programming starting from the zero. Zero, this is first number, not one. It's first number. One, it's the second number. Okay, we will connect it. It looks like that one, but it's more complicated. Uh, you will see inside. Why I say it inside? Because if you once double click on this uh, Python script, you will get uh, Python shell. So now you can write your code. Uh, to be honest, I will delete all these things. I will leave only for like that because I want to show you how it's work. Let's say that's why I get uh, I have here the examples. Let's maybe we'll just save it. I will. I want to show you examples. For example, with this one. Uh, let's see. How we did that? We did here x equal 52. Let's do the same thing. x equal, but not 52. Where is our 52 now? Our 52 is in 0. And let's write it. In, sorry, in 0. And our y is 25. As you understand, our y 25 is in one let's write the same thing in equal uh, i mean the y equal in one so now x this is 20, 52 y it's 25 because you can see it's connecting exactly on this way and what we get the, what we will do the next thing let's write this thing that's why i'm showing you this thing z equal x x plus y so we already did it, save it, but the result is still zero. Why is this still zero? Let me go inside because out, this is out, it's equal to zero. We want to get in out our answer. Our answer is z because our z is equal to x plus y. So we will change this is number zero to the function z. Let's save it. What we get? 77. So as you can understand, one Python script already, you, you already done your first Python script. This is simple, yes, but it's useful because you can create inside the script a lot of different operation. And what we're going to do, we're starting from the simple things. So you achieve the result. But let's say you want to, I don't know, uh, let me, I will copy it. I will just copy it and I will open it. Uh, let's say you want to get, I don't know, let's say not sum, you want to divide it. Let me, I will divide it, you get the 2, right? Okay, this is pretty awesome. But why you get the 2? Because 52 divided by 25, it's not a 2. That's the problem, right? Answer, it's really simple. Uh, our number is integer and we should convert it to the float. If you will go inside to the Python, uh, as you can see, I not write anything. What is that x? What is that y? Maybe x is string. Maybe y is integer. So this is the problem. Uh, we need to write what is for now. We need to write what is the type of the um, data we will get. So let me I will write here the float, and everything will be inside the quotes. Let's say okay, and as you can see, we get our float number. But as you can see, I, I have write only the one, uh, one x, it's only float. The y is still integer, but the result is float. This is the thing. If only one number from the thousand numbers will be float, result will be float. If you not, will especially write, for example, here the int, for example, like that. So now it will be integer, as you can see. But you should just remember it. We get here the result, it's float. And answer is, for example, let me, I will write here the, another answer. We get this one and we want to get um, in answer. Let me, I will write the second number. 
uh, will be like this just that let's say save and as you can see this is our uh, transfer back to the integer um, answer and this one mm, di we didn't transfer it as you can see just just as that and we can like write for example float it's already float but let's write again float that and string str z what we will get as you can see all of that it looks like number but actually only one it's not, not number the last one this is a string and as you can see this is really working also you can write here the continue your uh, continue your function for example z plus z why not and you get here the answer uh, maybe you wanna continue to divide it for example you wanna make it equal to the z uh, you can do whatever you want and like that and you will get of course you will get the same answer but if you will say like this it will be a bit different so as you can see i already making it more hard and hard just in answer just try to image to get the same result just in one script in python how many nodes or code blocks you need uh, just try image and uh, transfer all this data to the code block it will be really huge it's not will be totally huge but of course it's not will be only three uh, strings it will be like maybe 12 or more, much more this is the reason to use the python and that's why i'm starting from the some simple from the numbers because everyone they know the simple uh, simple mathematics and that's why i'm showing on the mathematics too if you find it interesting to learn Python, how it's working, if you find it interesting to learn straight away, not without any theory, without any, a lot of the, um, I don't know, like, uh, lessons, like how Python working, who create the Python, how it's important in uh, industry. So if you want to just start and learn, uh, let me know below the comments. We will start to learn. If you already pro in python i think much better to watch the another guy i will leave his, uh, the link to, to his channel you just can go there and straight away learn much advanced level in python if you already is so i mean if you are new on that or if you are just starting it will be better if you will watch first the what i'm showing you and the next you can switch to the some more high level or in the middle level and yes, here is your homework. Here is all operations. It's actually not all operations, but the most main uh, arithmetic operation in uh, Python. As you can see it here, I will leave all this operation. I mean, the link to the uh, this website where you can see all operations uh, below the video. Go there. And what is your homework? Try to create all the pythons block for each of this operation for each one yeah it looks simple but you need the practice so your first practice will be you should create all all different uh, python scripts for each operation and try to understand what this operation doing i not will teach you the arithmetics i hope everyone knows the arithmetic so i think everyone understand what uh, what the type of the result we will get but I will show you the next time uh, how we can create more and more complicated um, things in Python. Here's your homework. Here's the my first Python video in Dynama. I just waiting your likes and comments. Thank you guys and see you next time.